The second meeting of the sides this season. Sean McGraw was winning the opening game 3-0 and Tala. Long ball in towards Aaron Green. Green! Beaten away by Mitchell Beanie. Watts forward to his captain, Ronan Finn. Watts keeps his run going, looking for the return ball. Here's Dylan Watts. Watts! Ooh. Cross goal. Watts didn't miss by much there. Jack Byrne then with this corner for Shamrock Rovers. And as far as Finn! Another corner. Finn wondering how that didn't hit the target. Well, as the sun sets at the showgrounds, free kick out on that left-hand side. Regan Donlan's going to take it in towards David Coley! Uh, just couldn't keep the header down. And our search for the first goal continues. Here's Coughlin into Fordyce. Fordyce! Oh! Daryl Fordyce! 55 minutes in, the former Northern Irish under 21 international with his first goal for Sligo gives the home side the lead. Burn with the signal and the corner out on that left hand side. Beaten away by Mitchell Beanie. Lee Grace goes to ground, claims for a penalty perhaps. Referee Graham Kelly not impressed by the calls. Grace back on his feet. Here's Ali Horgan, Harps manager in the crowd, watching on. Jack Byrne releases Trevor Clark down that left-hand side. Plays it in towards Aaron Green! And it's 1-1. And Green scores against his former club. His fourth league goal of the season. 66 minutes gone. It's Sligo 1, Shamrock Rovers 1. Here's Cawley, shot charged down. Ricochets towards Jack Byrne. And the referee Kelly decides that Cawley is fouled by Byrne. So a free kick for Sligo Rovers in an advantageous position. So Alan Manis, the Shamrock Rovers goalkeeper, lines up his wall in front of him, Finn's there. And it's going to be Jack Keeney to take this. Keeney, oh, oh fantastic goal! By Jack Keeney, the 20-year-old from Donegal. 74 minutes gone, and there's a, well, what do you call him, on the pitch. He should not be there. Well, that was a terrific goal from Jack Cady, from this free kick, up and over the wall, beating the flying Manus. Parks. Here's Ronan Coughlin. He's got four dice outside of him. Plays it instead to the sub, Chris Twardek. Now here's Fordyce, in towards Coughlin again with the outside of the boot. Oh, bouncing off the crossbar. Here's Parks, and forced out for a corner. And Coughlin can't believe that his effort came off the woodwork. And that's it. It's four unbeaten now for Sligo Rovers, and that's a prize scalp of the league leaders. The two managers shake hands. It's finished. Sligo Rovers two. Shamrock Rovers won. Yeah, we played really well. We created a lot of chances. Look, they've scored two wonder goals, haven't they? And uh, that's what's won them the game. But we're disappointed, obviously, not to win the game. But uh, our performance was really good. And like I said, they've scored two strikes from 35 yards to uh, win some of the game. God, anybody that comes here, like it's a tough league. There's no easy games in it. You can see from top to bottom, teams are taking points off teams. Um, so from our end of it, we're delighted. We've put in a good, good show tonight. Great effort from everybody, um, and hopefully we can push on to next week. Now the strikes they hit, they'll try them a hundred times, and they go over the bar. The, the one, the first one, is uh, is an unbelievable hit. It bounces up on his left foot, and he catches the top corner. Um, it's just one of them nights. Wherever they hit, I think they had two uh, shots and goal, and two of them go in.